Welcome back to Gaming Night. I'm your host, Johnny Murray here, and today we need to talk about the Game Awards and what the heck Xbox did because Xbox said, hold my beer. <laughs> and they went off. Oh, Xbox. God, I love the Xbox. I'm literally wearing an Xbox shirt, but don't get it twisted. I'm wearing a PlayStation hat too. All right. Chill, chill, chill. Where is it? Right there. Yep. All right. Ain't no console wars here. Xbox went crazy. PlayStation even had some good things there. Love to see it. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and talk about Xbox here. Because uh, the big topic this year was that, or last year as well, is that Xbox skipped out last year. They didn't have anything uh, to announce at the Game Awards last year. And they got a lot of backlash for that. They got a lot of heat for it. And leading up to this year, they everyone was like, yo, you gotta show something. And, uh, well, Xbox went ahead and announced that they would be at the show with multiple announcements. And when this happened, you know, there was a lot of talk. There was a lot of speculations. I even had my own speculations. I was saying things like Gear 6. Um, you know, I was thinking like Marcus Phoenix Collection, Indiana Jones. Um, but then there were so many other speculations like games like... Uh, Hellblade 2, of course, um, Avowed, uh, Clockwork Revolution, South of Midnight, the game that were recently released, and then some of these actually got raided uh, before the show, and yeah, I, I don't know, it, we, we were kind of just going into there speculating so many things, and the thing with Xbox is that they have so many announced games, so many possibilities now, that they are almost, like, they, they, I almost think they are the most exciting company to talk about when it comes to event shows because they just have so much um and i think they proved that <laughs> with this show even through all the speculations they surprised everybody uh i mean th th we even had more speculations about like you know could we get some activision blizzard king news like um w w future games and going to game pass or you know um could they tell us a little bit about how this acquisition and how them in team xbox is going to work we were speculations about Game Pass in general. Could we be getting some new Game Pass games? Which um, I don't actually think we got that many of, to be uh, to be honest with you. Except of course the first party games that they showed. Uh, but could we get some acquisition news? Could they have acquired somebody? That that was some speculation. And then of course there was some hardware speculation. Could they show that mid gen refresh that got leaked in the court case? Could they show the the new controller that got leaked in the court case? And um. While there was so much speculation, I still find it hard to believe that they absolutely delivered. And to me, personally, they stole the show. They are the MVP of the show to me. Um, that's not to say there were other companies that did absolutely fantastic. Sega, 100% killed it. We're going to do a video on that next. Um, Square Enix actually surprised me. Um, you know, Capcom was there. Uh, EA was there. Yeah. There was so much great stuff. PlayStation was even there. Um, but let's go ahead and talk about how Xbox was there, what they showed, and we're going to talk about this because GG. Uh, they started off, their first thing that they announced was, of course, we got the thing that everybody pretty much expected to be there, and that was Hellblade 2. And yes, it still looks amazing. We got the full official trailer with... An official 2024 release window. Now, I'm a little disappointed with that we didn't get an official release date, but at least we know it's coming next year, assuming no delays. Um, if my guess, I'm gonna guess it's gonna be either summer or fall. I don't think it'll be like late, late December. I don't think it'll be like no November. I don't think it'll be November or December. I think I, I could see it being anywhere from. I'm going to say July to October. That's that's going to be my window I'm shooting for there. Um, and uh, yeah, the, the, the game just looks stunning. The visuals are just incredible. Very impressive stuff, man. I mean, of course, the facial animations, all the different areas you're going to, the different settings. This trailer really, I, I think, sold a lot of pe people on the game if they weren't already sold. I think for me, I was already sold, but this one bumped my excitement up by so much because something that they did finally show was the combat. They showed off the combat, and it looks so much better than the previous one. I mean, it, the previous one was really, really cool, but, um, and, you know, the combat in the game is a very f kind of, like, flashy very different take on the hack and slash kind of formula um 
and yeah it just looks very much improved now i will say i think the combat did look a little bit clunky and i i do hope they refine it and polish it a little bit more and they do have time for that so i'm sure they will but for the most part it still looks really really fun um but like i just said every time i see this game man my my hype just goes up it just goes up and up and up and um I just cannot wait to play it at this point. Like, I, I, I really just want to get my hands on it and just see how this story continues. Because it really is just a wild, wild time. Um, but, uh, yeah, like I said, the game just still, still looks stunning. And, you know, this is kind of crazy because this is the third time we've seen it at the Game Game Awards. I think the fourth time we've seen it in general. We kind of saw, like, a little, like, a... It was during the Xbox 2020 show where they, they or no, 2021 showcase where uh, they, they, we went to Ninja Theory and they were talking about, like, how they captured the, like, setting and, like, the, um, the, like, area that we, we were in. It wasn't really a game, like, in-game thing or anything, but, yeah. Uh, I, 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 look, I'm just glad we finally released Window and it just looks better and better every time we see it. And it is coming to Game Pass. It is goaded, man. It, Game Pass is just goaded. Um, now, the big plot twist of the whole thing. Um, Jeff Keighley was hyping something up. We, we we knew whatever we were about to witness was magnificent. And ladies and gentlemen, it was magnificent. And ladies and gentlemen, I mean, Jeff Keighley was about to cry. Like, he, he, he sounded like he was about to cry announcing this. And, um... When he announced it, we all kind of knew what, what 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 was up, and we knew it was Hideo Kojima. Kojima Productions showed up once again, as like almost every other Game Awards. But here's the thing: everybody thought it was Death Stranding 2. I even thought it was Death Stranding 2. Everybody in my watch party thought it was Death Stranding 2. I've watched so many reactions; everyone thought it was Death Stranding 2. The biggest plot twist of them all: it was the Xbox project. Officially named OD. Holy smokes, I did not see this coming whatsoever. And uh, yeah, this is huge. I mean, you're taking, in my opinion, the GOAT of video game creation design directors. And you are showing his new game partnered with my personal fa favorite Xbox. But I love all of them. Um, and um, you, wow, this trailer... It, I can't say it's a like one of the best trailers because it's really not much. It's just facial animations rendered, um, and I mean it looks so impressive. It looks so impressive. It was a short trailer, and it was just a H Hideo Kojima trailer through and through. You know, it, it, it was the you start the trailer in one dimension and you go through Kojima's mind in fifty different dimension dimensions and. You know, he somehow solves the quantum theory and somehow makes you understand a story while making you think about 40 other stories and making you realize that you don't know what the heck you're watching until you think you know what you're watching and then you realize what you're watching is incredible but don't know what the heck you're looking at and it's just like, yes, <laughs> I'm here for it. And that, that is exactly what the, 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 this trailer did. It, you know, it, it, it's Kojima, you know what's up. And uh, it, it just looked crazy. Uh, very interested in it for sure. And then, of course, Jordan Peele came out and uh, announced that he was in collaboration with Kojima on this game. And he's a great director for movies. So to have him on this is crazy. And the thing that really excites me about this game is the information and what's being described this game is. The, the trailer, you know, it, it was just cool. It was a Kojima thing, man. But what, what, this is what's really getting me excited is that it's being described... As an immersive experience to find your fear threshold, a cloud-based hybrid game slash movie slash new form of media horror game. I don't know what the heck I just read to you. I don't know what the heck I read. I'm sold. <laughs> I'm sold, man. And, uh, you know, it, another thing they announced is uh, Kojima said in his interview is like, the team and people I have behind this game is like the Avengers. What does that mean, bro? What does that mean? Like, I don't even... What does that mean? You got... All right, so you got... Let's see. Who's the smartest one? 
you got Tony Stark as Hideo Kojima. You got Jordan Peele, uh, just such a decorative um, director. We'll make him Captain America, bro. Uh, who else you got, bro? You got Thor. You got to have uh, Black Widow somewhere. Um, you got to have Hawkeye, I guess. You got to have Hulk. Um, I don't know, bro. Kojima cooking, for real, for real. Um, I, I don't know, but... Whatever this game is, I cannot wait to see more, dude. I, I really cannot wait to see more. And th it was this was just such a Kojima moment, and this was such a Game Awards moment, and I just loved it every set second of the way. And it was just a huge surprise for Xbox entirely. And this is th this whole collaboration with Kojima and Xbox is just huge in entirely. Um, so yeah, absolutely just phenomenal. But both of these things did not prepare me for. The biggest announcement of the entire show, not just for Xbox, for everything. This was the OMG moment of the show. This was the pop-off to infinity moment. And that is that Bethesda from Arcane Leon, the team behind Dishonored and Deathloop, Xbox announced a third-person single-player Marvel game Set in Paris, none other than Blade. Match made in heaven, ladies and gentlemen. Arcane Leon, team behind Dishonored and Deathloop, making a Blade game. Oh my gosh. The, like... This was the OMG moment. This this was the hardest I popped off throughout the whole show. I, I yeah, I, this is a dream game. The, like this is a dream game. Not 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 the fact that it's just Blade, but the fact that Xbox finally has their Marvel game. You know their 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 um, Spider Man esque game, right? Um, and the fact that it is a really cool character and the fact that it's a studio that makes so much sense You know, it'd be something if you're like, all right, we're giving a mar mar Marvel game to like playground games that makes Forza and Fable Okay, cool. I mean, they're a great studio. Don't get me wrong, but is that really the best studio? But no, Arcane Leon and Blade just sound like brothers they, they, they just sound like brothers, and I th this game is going to be some brotherly love, let me tell you. Um, yeah, this is Xbox's first Marvel game. This has been something people have been asking for forever. And yeah, it's, it's announced that it's third person. Baller. It is a single player game. Baller. Um, and it's Blade. Baller, and it's set in Paris. Baller, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm already in. Uh, now, the only downsides to this so far is that um, there was no announcement to exclusivity, which that's not really a downside to me. That's just unfortunate for the whole controversy and talk online. If it's exclusive, awesome. If it's not, awesome. You know, I look. I'm all about people playing games. I'm all about getting a great game. I'm not about getting exclusives. Exclusives are great, but... It's not going to kill a game for me if it's not exclusive. If it's a good game, it's a good game. What we should be talking about is the fact that Blade is happening. That's what we should be talking about. Not starting all this conversation on Twitter. Like, that's been going on about, oh, they didn't announce it was exclusive. It's definitely coming to PS5. Xbox never is going to get a Marvel exclusive. Bro, who cares? We're getting Blade, dude. Get that through your skull. Oh, man. I'm so excited for this game, dude. Um, and, um... And there was no sort of release date except the fact that they did say that they just started development on it. Meaning we're going to be waiting for probably a long time. And the only reason that they did announce it was to honor Blade's 50th anniversary. So, yeah, a little bit unfortunate. But uh, the fact that it's happening is all I need, really. And we have Wolverine to tie us over. We're gonna have the Iron Man game from EA. We're gonna have Black Panther EA game. Possibly, we're gonna have the Captain America and Wakanda <laughs> game. So we got Marvel games to tie us over for sure, but uh, definitely, definitely, definitely looking forward to this one. Uh, but overall,
man, Xbox really showed up this year, man. And that wasn't the only thing they had. They had uh, other things like they gave us another look at the Fallout TV show. That is Xbox. Um, continues to look like a just an absolutely great adaptation. And then Baldur's Gate finally came over to Xbox. This is something people have been wanting forever. It's a really huge moment. It was a shadow drop the night of. And uh, th th this is why this is so big for Xbox. Is that it solidified... Er, it, it means three big things. It, it gave us three huge things in terms of Team Xbox. That is, number one, it solidified 2024 as a very, very exciting year with the release of Hellblade. Two... It, gave, it got us way more interested in a one of its biggest collaborations ever with OD. And it gave us a dream game with lots of excitement for the long-term future of Xbox. Ladies and gentlemen, Xbox, dude, they killed it. They killed it. They somehow exceeded my personal expectations. Um, yeah, man. GG Xbox. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section below. <laughs> Don't even know why I say things twice, but I do. Um, leave a like, leave a comment. Um, I already said leave a comment. I'm just going to end the video because I can't talk. I've been talking for too long. I've recorded four videos back to back. <sighs> kind of out of oxygen, Loki. Or OD. I need to stop. I really need to stop. All right. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Jimer out. Peace.